Good afternoon everybody, Ian at RTO here. Hope you're okay. Um, yes, I've had an interesting 24 hours. Saturday I had the um, Covid booster. When I had the original shots, no problem. The booster, well, it reduced me to uh, doing nothing yesterday. So what I wanted to do yesterday for the channel, I had, I had to scare up. So I've been gone up earlier this morning, cracked on, and now we can get down to the series. It's, it's about ranking. Uh, so today we are going to be looking at the studio albums of American rock band Alter Bridge. Uh, formed in 2004 by vocalist and rhythm guitarist Miles Kennedy, lead guitarist Mark Tremonti, bassist Brian Marshall, and drummer Scott Phillips. Uh, basically, um, Alter Bridge was formed out of Creed. You've got Tremonti and Phillips. Uh, who formed the band with former Van Mount Marshall and Miles Kennedy. Older Bridge 2004, just before Creed's official breakup in June. So we've got Miles Kennedy, Mark Tremonti by Marshall and Scott Phillips. Uh, they've all they've all been together for all six albums. Um, so let's get started. Um, I like all the albums. I think they're all great albums. Uh, it's, it is, again, it's one of them that's hard to rank because there are some great tracks on all the albums. So coming in at number six then is the most current album um, released in 2019. It is Walk the Sky. Okay, first track on the album is a little intro called One Life. It's quite eerie. Uh, I like them sort of eerie um, intros. And then it goes into a track called Wouldn't You Rather. Now this is what I call that typical Alter Bridge sound. Some really strong drumming from Scott Phillips. Absolutely on top form here lovely guitar work and uh, Miles Kennedy's vocals are absolutely solid very very good track uh, second track is in the deep it's a solid enough track it's got some it's got a good rhythm to it but it's not the best one on the album Godspeed a uh, bit commercial radio Airplay for Alter Bridge here, but it's okay, it's not bad. Um, Native Sum, very good song, uh, great vocal performances. Um, we've got Miles doing the lead and Mark Tremone Tremonti backing vocals to sound very, very good, solid track. Uh, Take the Crown, it's what I call the bog standard Alter Bridge song, nothing wrong with it but it's not what I call outstanding. Introduction, uh, not a bad track. The Bitter End, really good solid track. Just got that great rock beat that you expect from Alter Bridge. Pay No Mind, well this is my favorite track on the album. The riffing in this and the guitar licks are fantastic. Great drumming again from Scott Phillips and Brian Marshall as ever. Mr. Dependent thumping bass line. Okay, next track, Forever Falling. It's okay. It's not my favourite, but it's still listenable. Uh, Clear Horizon, that's okay. Walking on the sky, a bit weak for me. It, it, it doesn't get, it's nothing there to really, that grabs me by the you won't know what's it and I like it's a little bit um, bit off for me um, Tear Us Apart very good track stonking bass line great stuff and Dying Light another good track 
this is one of those great drumming tracks from Mr. Phillips. On the whole, it's a great album. It's got some really good tracks, but there's some of them that just lacks that panaz that Alter Bridge had, um, like in the early albums. But I'm not saying that it's a bad album. I think there's just some of the tracks do lack something. But I'll give it an RTO ranking of 7 out of 10. Okay, then, number five. Fifth album released in 2016, The Last Hero. Uh, first track, Show Me a Leader. Very, very good track. Do love the drumming in this. Uh, absolutely brilliant from Scott Phillips. Really keeps this track together. Some great uh, riffs in this, of course. And a great guitar solo to add on it, so a brilliant track to open the album. Then we get the writing on the wall. I uh, love this track. It's got a driving riff that sort of goes through the whole song. Again, Scott Phillips, his drumming is just great. He is a very good drummer and some brilliant singing. Fantastic track. Um, the Other Side. Another strong track. Love the vocals from both guys. Um, Mark and Miles sing really well together. They harmonise very well. Very, very good track. My Champion. Uh, this is again a little bit on the um, radio friendly side. A little bit softer, but still a good, enjoyable track. Poison Your Veins. Really heavy riff this is. Uh, great bass line. Mr. Marshall, is, he's been a stalwart in this, in Creed and um, Alter Bridge. Fantastic bass player. Really carries this track. Um, Cradle to the Grave. Very power ballad to me. Um, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not keen on it. Um, losing patience. It's okay. It's not. Um, I've heard better. That's all I'll say on that. The side of fate. Really good vocals on this. And again, Scott Phillips on the drums. Absolutely on fire. Then you've got um, Brian's thumping bass in the background. Fantastic. You will be remembered. Again, it's one of them tracks. It's okay, but it has got the one of the best guitar solos on the album. Crows on a Wire, solid track, good staple Alter Bridge track. Twilight, again, very solid. Island of the Fools. Again, it's one of them tracks that just lacks that little bit of panaz. And the title track, uh, Last Hero, last one on the album, not bad at all. A good way to end the album, solid rock track, usual great riffs. Again, another really solid album again. Uh, it's Again, there's some great tracks and then there's some lacklusting tracks as well that I don't know. It really does boggle me sometimes. You know, you can put on loads of great tracks and then some of them a little bit, oh dear, what's gone wrong there? But I can still give it an RTO ranking of 7.5 because the out tracks that are brilliant are absolutely brilliant. Okay then, coming in at number four. It's the fourth album, released in 2013, Fortress. Great album this is. First track, Cry of Achilles. Great start to this. You think you're going to have a nice quiet number from them. You go, oh, this is a bit different. Oh, no. Then you get one of the heaviest riffs they've done. And the drums are just thumping. Great track. Addicted to Pain. Love this track. Uh, then it's them driving riffs and that real hard-hitting drum from Scott Phillips really thrashes away on that one that's great bleed it dry 
This is fast, heavy, furious, very thrash metal in places, but then it just slows down. The tempo just slows right down, and it is a fantastic track. Then we get Lover, awesome track, great vocals from Miles on this one, absolutely brilliant. Uh, good singer, Miles Kennedy. Very similar to Mark Tremonte as well, so their voices are very, very, very close. Um, next track is The Uninvited. Again, vocals are fantastic. The, the harmonies between Miles Kennedy and Mark Tremonte, fantastic. Um, Peace is Broken, Brian's bass work in this, great, hard heavy and the work he does with Scott Phillips they work so well together brilliant stuff uh, it's just got great stuff in this track out all over um, it's just one of them classic Alter Bridge tracks Calm at the Fire another solid track tremendous vocals from Miles Kennedy he's got such a range he hits them high notes pretty well my favourite track comes next, uh, Waters Rising, Scott Phillips at his best, it's got that native Indian style drumming, uh, and again the vocal on here is just top draw. Uh, Father Than The Sun, awesome track, the riffs on this are terrific, uh, Cry A River, just a great solid rock track nothing wrong with that one all ends well another strong track some superb um, vocals some miles on this brilliant and we end up with the title track force fortress awesome track um, the riffs on this are terrific you got that bass line and it sort of come changes pace a lot um, amazing track to end the album with absolutely top draw this album is solid from start to finish got every track is pretty s strong and I'd say this is the last one they really were all their tracks were consistent and I'll give it an RTO ranking of 8 out of 10 okay then coming in at number 3 we have the third album released in 2010 simply called AB3 opens up one of my favourite tracks by Alter Bridge, Alter Bridge Slip Into The Void I love the start of that that little guitar riff at the beginning of this is fantastic and then you get that eerie voice from Miles and then it goes into that real good hard solid rock track second track is Isolation what is good about this track is that driving riff and the guitar solo that drives this song along absolutely top draw stuff Ghost of Days Gone By this is quite radio friendly but it is very good very good track All Hope Has Gone a track that's um, dominated by Brian Marshall's amazing bass lines uh, he just knows how to do it it, it keeps that song solid still remains love this track again great vocals from both Miles and Mark They're both as I've said really good singers and they each other's style sees, suits Alter Bridge um, make it right Mr Marshall again thumping bass line heavy hard fantastic uh, wonderful life bit of a power ballad but it's a very good track and you got the addition of some nice acoustic guitar work in that one as well I know it hurts again this album is just full of some great riffs and guitar licks and there's plenty on that track show me a sign again them riffs are just coming and really solid track um, Fallout it's not too bad it's probably my least favourite track on the album 
but it doesn't mean it's a bad one. Um, Breathe Again. Um, again, Brian Marshall is the star on this. Drives this song along. Then we get my favourite song, Cour d'Alene. Oh, I love this track. It's just some of the best guitar riffs from a uh, Alter Bridge. Really good stuff. Um, Life Must Go On. This one's okay. It's got a fantastic guitar solo on it. Absolutely brilliant. Um, were words darker than the wings. This is a bit of a mellow track. Um, it's okay. It's not the best. Okay, AB3. Solid one. Got great tracks. The last one's a little bit iffy. But it's still a fantastic album, and I'll give this an RTO ranking of 8.5. Okay, top two. Before I do, I need a drink. That's better. Okay, hard this was, because these are the strongest albums. Um, in the end, it just come down to uh, a couple of tracks, really. So coming in at number two, it's the debut album, released in 2004, One Day Remains, classic album this is, um, Find The Real, the riffs in this remind me so much of Black Sabbath, it's just awesome riffing, the title track again, One Day Remains, solid, love the riffing on this. It's a fantastic track. Uh, bass line from Brian. Top draw stuff. Open Your Eyes. A great track. The drumming from Scott Phillips. As ever. Brilliant. Burn It Down. One of them tracks that starts slow and then goes, gets bigger and better and heavy. Great track. Metal Lingus, my favourite track on the album, probably one of my favourite tracks by Alter Bridge. Uh, just love the drumming in this. R vocal is just top draw. Riffs again, heavy, mind blowing. Broken Wings. I love how they got the, this guitar effect at the beginning. Then the bass line comes in, and then he just goes off on one, as I say. Great track. In Loving Memory, again one of them nice gentle songs that goes backwards and forwards into, it gets a bit heavy, slow, and then it builds up into such a heavy finish, it is fantastic. Um, down to my last, just some classic riffs, um, I just it just, just carries on from Creed really, doesn't it? it, you know, you can't get any better than that. Watch your words. One of probably the mellow, very mellow -y tracks on here. But it's got a heavy rift in the middle and it's really good. Shed My Sing. Skin, sorry. Uh, one of the tracks that I don't like. I just don't like that one. The end is here. Miles Kennedy sounds brilliant on this. He holds them notes so well. And the riffs are so strong in this one as well. Belting debut album from Alter Bridge. Um, you sort of hoped that you was going to get more of what Creed were doing, and you do. I mean, I love Creed, as you know, and I wasn't disappointed when this album came out either. And I'll give it an RTO ranking of 9 out of 10. So, coming in at number 1, second album. Released on 2000, in 2007, it's Blackbird. It's just one of those great rock albums. First track is the classic, Ties That Bind. I just love that guitar riff at the beginning again. And then that lovely double bass drum comes in and gives it so much oomph. Terrific track. Come to Life, again another classic track. I just love the riffs in this one. The drum sounds fantastic. 
Uh, this, when you hit some of them hi hats, it's so tinny but crisp. It, it sounds fantastic. Um, brand new start. One of my favourite tracks by the band. The arrangement is so good, and it's got one of the best guitar solos on it as well. Um, Buried Alive. A little bit different here, but what makes it, of course, it's the combination between Scott Phillips and Brian Marshall. What an engine room them two are. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, then we get Coming Home. Again, Brian Marshall's bass line is the winner here. Superbly backed up by his mate on the drums. Solid track. Before Tomorrow Comes. Got some great guitar riffs in this one. Great solo and a fine vocal performance by Miles Kennedy. Rise Today. Awesome track. Second favourite track on all time. I just love um, Miles' vocal on this. It's just absolutely awesome. And he's very, very good on this album. One of his best performances. And then we get the classic, of course, Blackbird. My favourite track by Alterbridge, without a doubt. This is the peak of excellence on this. Then driving riffs, some unbelievable drumming from Scott Phillips. Just one of his best performances. One by one. This is a this is just so good. It's the combination of learning the trade with Creed and putting it to perfection with Alter Bridge. Fantastic. Absolutely top draw stuff. Watch over you. Probably the one of the weaker tracks on the album, but doesn't make it a bad track either. Um, Break Me Down. The powerhouse um, of the band, Phillips and Marshall, drive this track along with some very good guitar work from the, from the other two. Absolutely brilliant. White Knuckles, another great track. Again, Miles, while a voice, hits them notes and holds the notes. You can't get any better than that. The last track, Wayward One, just a great for, for rock track. Great riffs and licks. It's great singing. Fantastic way to end the album. For me, this is just the complete Alter Bridge album, I think. I think a lot of the work came from the days in Creed with Mark Tremonte, Ryan Marshall and Simon Phillips. Um, I think this, this is the, the when they were really at their peak. Uh, and it is a combination of both bands really, to me. And this is why this is the, old, the best Alter Bridge album. And I'm giving it an RTO ranking of 9.5. Okay, um, before we go on this, don't forget that your quiz sheets, answer sheets, are ready for the quiz on the 23rd of December. That's a Thursday, would be a live quiz. Um, if you want to, to join in, uh, the uh, email address is just popping up on the screen right now. Uh, prizes. If you the first prize, if you win it, the quiz is that you'll be do you will get to choose to do a retro ranking with me of your favourite band, and I will pick my top ten songs from that band too. Um, so that's that, and also we've launched the uh, Red Bubble site for merchandise. Always go for a bit of plug. That's my t-shirt I've got. Um, so if you want one, go to, if you click in the header on the on the front of the YouTube page where we've got every, all the other uh, ones, the Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, there's a little red bubble one there. Click on there, it takes you straight to the page. 
and go and get yourself a t-shirt or a mug or a pair of socks it's all there so I'll be back later we've got a classic album and we have got a brilliant classic today going to mellow out a bit with a bit of Neil Young and Harvest so I'll be back for that later so take care for now <laughs>